Hello, John Fisher. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, we have once again a video um, about a particular um, saint or inspiring person. Um, this week um, we're going <clears> to <throat> look at somebody a bit different. <clears throat> so we know that um, some saints that we hear of, like uh, Mother Teresa, <coughs> excuse me, or um, Josephine Paquita, who we saw a few weeks ago, or um, St. Charles, these are all great saints, but it can be difficult for us to relate to them because they lived a long time ago or they just didn't live in the time that we're living now, quite a different time. So I'd like to introduce you to somebody who I think is somebody we can relate to uh, a bit better, somebody who had Facebook and uh, that sort of thing. Um, and it's somebody not very well known, uh, Angelica uh, Tiraboshi, uh, she's called. Um, who, as you can see, um, was born in 1995, but died in 2015. So it's a, it's a sad story. I'm afraid she died young. But somebody very normal and somebody in the process of becoming a saint. So somebody who we can really relate to um, in our uh, own quest to uh, become saints, to be the best version of ourselves. So Angelica um, is from Italy. So she was born near Milan uh, in 1995 parents Marcello and Romina. Um, she liked cycling, reading, writing, watching TV, listening to music, so all, all the sort of normal things that you would expect. Um, she was well liked, she had lots of friends, but she had her weaknesses too. Sometimes she fought with her friends, sometimes she disobeyed her parents. Uh, she would sometimes get upset when things didn't go her way. So uh, a very normal person, but of course always trying to be the best version of herself. Once when she was in primary school, uh, she was feeling a bit sad and her teacher asked her why. She said, because I'm ugly. The teacher then placed a mirror in front of her and told her to smile. Now look how beautiful you are. And that, this for her was one of her turning points because she realized that she was actually beautiful, that if she tried to look at herself in a bit of a better way, she realized that <clears throat> made in the image and likeness of God, she was beautiful. And that gave her great confidence for her to move forward. Um, so she, uh, Angelica, as I say, she's being in the process of becoming a saint. So she had a very, very strong faith, Catholic faith. Uh, she went to mass and prayed the rosary every day as much as she could. Um, she often went to confession. And she said that these three things in particular, the mass, the rosary, uh, frequent confession, were the best ways to get close to God. Um, growing up, she used to run youth groups in her church, and she did that even when she had uh, exams and she was very busy, she would make that sacrifice of time. One day, um, as I said, it's a sad story, one day, aged 18, uh, a child in her youth group ran up to her to give her a hug, um, and when the child did, she felt this pain in her chest. Um, the pain didn't go away, um, and then she went to a, a doctor, um, and then after some tests, she was found to have an aggressive type of breast cancer. And as I say, she then died um, a few months later when she was just 20 years old. Um, but one of the great things about Angelica is that here you have a saint who's, as I say, very, very normal. She likes fashion, she likes to wear nice clothes. Um, and she had a great resilience um, in facing her um, struggle with cancer. She used to say, you can conquer all things if you arm yourself with a smile. And that's what she was known for doing, just smiling a lot. And a lot of the photos that you'll see of her, uh, including selfies, which she used to like taking, um, she would be smiling. So you can see her here, um, just, just like any other kid would do. She would be taking selfies. Um, she liked to meet with her friends. Uh, so you can see some photos here with her friends on school trips. Um, but in all of this, she always tried to radiate the love of Christ to others. And this way of um, becoming a saint, not by doing <clears throat> great things, but just by doing mm, the little things of every day, um, <clears throat> was something which I think she summed up nicely in this uh, quotation. If you cannot be a star in the sky, be a little light for those around you. Uh, and that's what she used to be to her friends and to her family. Another thing, she, had, she was known for saying lots of beautiful little quotations. Here's just another one. 
the Lord creates each of us as a work of art. Perhaps not everyone in our life will love us, but for God, we are always precious in his eyes. And this is when you read, there's a biography of Angelica, uh, and when you read um, that, you realise that she had this great sense that God loved her and that she was beautiful uh, in God's eyes. Um, in her last um, moments, when her family and friends were very upset that she wasn't going to be able to survive this uh, breast cancer, um, she consoled them with these words. However the end will be, it will be very beautiful because I will either stay here with you whom I love or I will go into the arms of Christ and I will still love you forever. Uh, and this is what she demonstrated in her last few um, moments of life when she was fighting this cancer, um, this great sense that um, though she would um, obviously not be with the people she loved, she was going to a better place uh, and that filled her with great hope. So um, I really pray that uh, and I have great confidence that Angelica will one day um, be a saint. Um, and so perhaps one day when you are um, older and you have maybe children of yourself and they're wondering, oh, mummy, daddy, what, what saint shall I choose for my confirmation? Or, uh, what saint can I pray to? Well, hopefully you'll be able to recommend Angelica as a girl, a very normal girl, um, who nonetheless uh, lived a very beautiful life uh, inside and out. So um, perhaps we can say a little prayer to Angelica, asking us, uh, asking her to, um, that we can be like her in radiating that goodness of Christ uh, in the beauty of his creation. I wish you all a very good uh, weekend ahead uh, and all the best. See you around. God bless.